Hey guys, so this is the video that I help you out with the unfinished business exotic quest where you need to collect um, the, the data extractions from these things called cloud accretions. Um, now they're found all over the place and what they essentially are are the, you know the way each planet in the game has had some kind of a resource like the moon has those canisters and like uh, Nessus has those data lattices. Well cloud accretions are just like the randomly spawning resource that you'll get on uh, the new planet from... Um, Lightfall, what's it called? Neptune. Um, so what I did to make this a lot easier is for your main character, you can maybe create a separate ghost shell if you don't want to use this all the time, just so you can jump back to it if you need to, is uh, install the resource detector mod. And what this will do is when it, dis when it spots a resource, like a uh, one of these cloud things, it'll get marked on the map, like you can see here. Now, the cloud accretions look like some sort of a fungusy looking growth. I don't know what they are. But you press square on it and harvest the resource and there you go. You get your data packet. So it'll consume some of those um, data little bit things, the quick bit things that you pick up from the Vex guys. So you need to uh, make sure you have enough of those when you're out searching. So I think it's flagged another one nearby here. Where is it? Up there. So again, you can see the advantages of using that ghost shell perk. It makes finding these things incredibly easy. Who shoot me? I will have another one here. So that's a better look at what it is. It does blend in quite well with the surroundings of the game. So there's a very good chance that if you don't have this thing equipped, you'll uh, you'll easily drive past these things and not even notice them. But they're not hard to find when you've got the, the detector added to your ghost shell. So I would definitely recommend doing that. You only need to have five uh, slots on your ghost shell to do it. So if you just have a spare one around... Don't want to mess up your existing ghost shell that's already perfectly set up for your build or whatever. Just make a new one. You're bound to have a load of ghost shells lying around anyway. And just drive around the place. This little area is probably the first. It'll be You'll only be finding them in the areas where there are enemies. And this is the first area where there are some enemies after leaving Nimbus. So just go scooting around for a while. See which spot. You're bound to come across them eventually. I'm only here two minutes and I found three. So I'd say uh, give it a bit of time. And you'll find all of them that you need. Just make sure you keep killing enough of the Vex to have built up enough of a, a collection of those little data bits. Where are we? The Cypher Qubits. That's how you pronounce them. So make sure you just uh, have killed enough Vex. There's loads of public events where um, the Vex will be the enemy of choice. And just killing all the Vex and them, them events is more than enough to give you everything you need. So there's another one over here. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure if you were to explore a little bit more of the map, so I, I think only a certain number of them are going to appear in each location at any one time. So if you feel like you might have tapped this particular area out, just move on to a different area of the map and you're bound to find more. They spawn all over the map, so they're, like I said, the, the, the equivalent of a canister or lattices or whatever other discontinued resources they've removed from the other maps over the years. But there's loads of them to find, so just um, just equip that little detector and go for a little scooter on the map and you're sure to find all five of those that you need to complete this part of the exotic quest unfinished business so there you go hopefully that helps you out talk to you later